If you're watching this video, you probably have a bricked Linksys router. Uh, in this case, uh, the router that I'm trying to unbrick is a Linksys WRT1900ACS version 2. Uh, this particular router was running uh, firmware from untangle.com, uh, which is an awesome firewall product with a whole suite of products uh, that comes with it that you can flash your router with um, and overwrite the firmware that comes from Linksys. Uh, Linksys doesn't support this, so in my case where um, I screwed something up and uh, forgot the password, um, the only way to reset it is to go through this procedure. Uh, the procedure that Linksys would give you to reset their router by hitting the reset button or maybe powering on and off a few times, uh, followed by hitting the reset button. None of that works once you put aftermarket uh, firmware on this router. Um, so this procedure is made up of uh, techniques that I got from the OpenWRT site and a few other uh, various sites where I just kind of pulled the information together to make one video. Um, just a plug for Untangle. If, uh, if you haven't seen their software, I would encourage you to go out to www.untangle.com and take a look at all their products. It's a pretty great deal. Um, you can get uh, their product for $50 a year for residential use, and it's better than anything you'll ever find on a store-bought router. Uh, and it's cloud-managed, so you get updates right away when there's uh, an exploit. They're usually in front of it. Uh, I don't work for Untangle. Uh, they're not paying me for this video. I'm just doing this because uh, I ran into this problem and it took me a while to figure out how to unbrick it. Uh, so with that being said, let's get started. Okay, I'm assuming you are using Linux for these next steps, uh, like I am. If not, you're using Windows or Mac. Uh, there are procedures out there to accomplish the same thing, setting up a TFTP server and bringing up a console using something like PuTTY or iTerm2. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use PicoCom, which comes with Linux. Uh, and as soon as you plug in the adapter, it's recognized by Linux. There's no drivers to load. Uh, so you start PicoCom, as you'll see in the following video and you should be ready to go. Okay, once you press enter, if you're seeing hash marks on the screen like that, 
uh, you see the file successfully being downloaded from the TFTP server. Uh, the rest is automatic. Uh, this, the router will get flashed uh, with the default uh, Linksys firmware. Uh, when it's complete, you'll get an OK prompt. At that point, you can power it off, power it back on. It'll eventually boot up, and you'll have both a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz SSID broadcasting. At that point, you can just choose to set it up uh, like a factory uh, Linksys router, or you can attempt to flash it with whatever uh, aftermarket firmware you choose. I um, hope this video was helpful, and uh, look at the end of the video for any additional information uh, to help you get through this process.